Today we are going to talk about a pesky problem in matplotlib. Specifically, when we give matplotlib data based on non-consecutive dates, it doesn't know what to do with it. So, we'll get a user-unfriendly x-axis in the resulting chart. Here, I've got a data frame showing the percentage of weekly COVID-19 cases by age group. Each row has the Sunday date for which the week ended. Here's what we get by default when we plot the stacked area chart in matplotlib. As you can see, there are quite a few things that are wrong with this chart and I've gone through them in my blog with a link in the description below. But the one area we want to highlight in this tutorial because it's the trickiest of the problems is fixing the labeling on the x-axis. At first glance, the x-axis gives us a rough idea of our timeline because it shows that our data starts a few weeks before the 1st of April and extends until around mid-September. However, when we want to take a closer look at our dates, we find that there's a couple of things which become confusing. Firstly, we don't know when our time frame actually starts. There are about four tick marks before we see April. So we think that March should appear at the beginning, but it doesn't. Secondly, the spaces between the different months is uneven. Some have four tick marks between them and some have five. While we know that months have slightly different lengths, this is still confusing for us. So how do we fix this? Let's take a look at what's under the hood in matplotlib. When we pull all the tick labels, both major and minor, for the x-axis, we see that all the month names are bunched together. This means that the tick marks are not in order. Separating the major and minor ticks, we see that indeed, all months are major tick marks and that matplotlib has not assigned any labels to the minor ticks. Furthermore, matplotlib also has not given any labels to the first and last major tick mark. Why is it tricky to fix this? Well, here's a screenshot of the matplotlib documentation for the methods to retrieve and to set the add tick labels of a chart. Unsurprisingly, they are named get x tick labels and set x tick labels respectively. Even though we could get all the tick labels with one line of code, we saw earlier that they are not put in order. Major tick labels are retrieved, then the minor labels. Furthermore, we need to split the major and minor tick labels when reassigning new labels because we only have two options for set x tick labels minor equals to true or minor equals to false. Then, how do we fix this? First of all, we must get the tick marks and our desired tick labels in order. Here, I have used NumPy's arrange function to create a list of Mondays that capture the beginning of each week. These will be the tick labels that we will assign to the respective tick marks. When we call the getPosition method on a tick labels object, we can see that the position has two elements, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So, we can use the x-coordinates to sort the tick marks in the order that they will appear on the graph. Using this information, here's a function that produces a sorted list of the tick mark positions when given an x-axis labels object and a parameter telling it whether to get the major ticks, the minor ticks, or both. Secondly, we map all the existing tick labels to the corresponding labels that we want to replace them with. We do this by calling the function written above to get a sorted list of all tick labels, then writing a for loop that runs through both our list of dates and the list of tick locations to map 
each tick location to a corresponding date label. Thirdly, we use the dictionary to map each tick mark in the major and minor ticks to the dates that we want to label it with. Here, we chose to do this by writing a function since we will use the same code twice. We then get a list of major and minor date labels. Finally, we use set X tick labels with the two lists to set the labels on the major and minor ticks. Voila! We have all the weeks beginning Monday on our timeline and it's clear which week each tick mark is pointing to. In short, you can edit the labels in matplotlib using these four steps. Number one, create sorted lists of the existing tick positions and your desired labels. Number two, map the two lists together by creating a dictionary. Number three, create lists of desired major and minor tick labels by looking them up using your dictionary. Number four, use set X tick labels twice to set up the major and minor labels. I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.